Okay, this is my final push. We're gonna fit all the miscellaneous parts. We'll be fitting the whole console area, all the wiring's down there. The dash, the dash and cowlings are coming on. Most of the panels are back. I'm gonna be fitting the these two corner plastics badge. Another corner plastic is also the what do you call it? A, Oh, it's for the latch, it's, really, it's the latch, latch lever, it goes in there, two grommets and latch lever. And some more miscellaneous parts, basically the operating station is getting full up. This was the last purchase that I did with John Deere. All the curls and the, this is the side panel for the dash, it actually comes on there. Alright, last couple of switches, the indicator switch just needs a service, the horn, that one's not working, we have gearbox heat sensor, one that I broke while installing it, these are all the old panels, the two cowlings on the side, new indicator park lights in front, Light switch, a couple of random screws and washers. Okay, we're back in the game. Focus. Gear levers, gear knobs, uh, yeah, gear knobs, the throttle knob, some self-tapping screws, Allen caps. What else have we got? Here? Oh yeah. Also got the two lights at the back, one on either side, that's what they used to look like, and too much of it was broken to try and salvage, and the lenses are basically the same price as what a complete light would be, I just got two complete lights, that's it, I'll start washing it down, and assembling the final little bit. Two three days should be running. Tires and stickers come on lost. Okay, so before you start doing your final assembly. On specifically on the on, on the gear or the dash or the con control arm unit you want to loosely fit this exactly on its space where it should sit but just loosely don't tighten tighten don't tighten all the bolts then add your index make sure that all your levers levers index correctly before you start fitting everything solidly like this one for instance got a problem it only goes from from one up to three it's getting stuck it's binding somewhere in the middle there we go so I have to sort that out first before we can go further um, make sure your park specific especially the park index is right so you've got full release in the front and then you've got a spring loaded engage at the back and then make sure that your neutral is definitely in neutral in that slot position so how you do this is by adjusting the length. problem that we had here is this one is your uh, these two are the a b and your c d selection so what happened was the links were too long meaning sorry, the lever was not the lever was sitting back here so it was trying to select a before you could utilize the neutral slot to go over to the c position or the d position so it was sitting right about there what i did is i shortened the links up and the neutral position is now exactly right according to the slot right so after you've done all of this 
make sure your links line up uh, well it's not connected right now but the link is also a little bit too long so if the tractor is in position two the lever is already right back here in position one so what we'll do is we'll lengthen the link to make sure the lever shifts over to position number two whilst the tractor is also in position number two uh, you can also adjust the throw as you can see there are two holes over there make sure you select the right right one the throw will basically make sure that your one one two three four is not sitting there it's got the full throw of one two three four okay right that's it and then I can't stress enough to make double check and recheck that you've got full release on your pot before you go over to neutral otherwise you can have a lot of trouble yeah and you'll have the operator jamming and pulling on the gear levers and eventually breaking up the index that's usually the problem with with these older tractors the links are not set up right anymore and the guys try and force it past the index they'll end up breaking all the plastics and stuff here to get it out of park so that they can go to the forward forward, re uh, re forward reverse positions there this lever is also very important to make sure that your neutral position is right because the safety the neutral safety switch has to be uh, has to operate in that slot there otherwise the tractor won't stop so it's important to have that safety aspect right as well you do not want this tractor to start up in a gear because it'll just run away there we go